Hi everyone, this is Frank from YOLO Live. Considering the recent updates to the audio mixer settings might slightly affect how you're used to operating, let's talk about YOLO Box Ultra's audio settings in this video. Also, I often get a lot of questions from friends about audio inputs, so I'm going to address those in this video as well. YOLO Box Ultra has two audio input ports labeled line and mic. Connecting them is straightforward. If I'm using a microphone, I simply plug the 3.5 meter mic cable into the mic port. If I'm using an external audio mixer, I connect it to the line input. After the connection is made, I can find its independent audio channel in the audio mixer settings. Be sure to check that the on button for each audio channel is red. Otherwise, the audio channel will be off and you won't hear any sound. This section also displays the audio channels for all video sources. If you can't hear the audio from your camera after connecting it, check your camera settings to ensure they're not affecting sound transmission. If it's not a settings issue, please contact us for further technical support. Our contact info is displayed at the end of the video. The overall structure and functionality of the audio settings haven't changed much. Each video or audio source still has its own independent audio channel, and we still have features like volume control, AFV, mix minus, and audio delay. If you're new to YOLO Box Ultra, I recommend watching other videos on how to navigate the audio mixer settings. However, version 2.6.0 brings a significant improvement in the layout and execution of audio parameters with three additions and three changes. So what's been added? Let's start with the volume adjustment. In the new version, volume bars now distinguish between left and right channels, with the main volume's specific decibel level clearly displayed on the right side of the bars. We've added color changes to indicate different volume ranges, and we've introduced vertical lines and precise volume scales to visually represent the strength of the audio signal. Additionally, we've optimized the volume slider. There's now a scale on the slider bar to show volume levels, and the exact volume value is displayed next to the slider for more accurate adjustments. These changes make monitoring and adjusting audio more intuitive and professional allowing users to control audio output with greater precision. Next up is the expanded audio control area. Recognizing that the right side panel was too narrow to clearly display all audio channels in one interface, we've added a zoom feature. By clicking the zoom icon in the top right corner, I can now view up to eight audio channels on the same screen, making the interface much easier to navigate. Moving on to the audio fade functionality. Simply click the small horn icon in the top right corner, scroll to the bottom of the page, and you'll find a one-click option to activate the audio fade feature. And what's changed? First, the AFV feature. In the old version, AFV was a global setting and was linked to the audio mute button. On my Ultra, the audio mute buttons for camera 1 and camera 2 both showed as active by default. When I enabled AFV and switched from camera 1 to camera 2, the mute button for camera 1 would automatically turn off, and the button for camera 2 would automatically turn on. After disabling AFV, camera 1's mute button would show as off, while camera 2's button would remain on. In the new version, each audio source can now have its own independent AFV setting, breaking the connection between AFV and the audio mute button. This change ensures that the main audio source remains active when switching between sources, while secondary audio sources only activate when you switch to them without deactivating the main source. This improvement offers greater flexibility in audio management and eliminates unnecessary audio muting. Second, we've changed the mix minus icon. The mix minus icon is now represented by a headphone icon instead of a minus sign. As a note, in the previous version, when you imported an audio channel, mix minus was off by default. Now, we've changed it to be on by default. Finally, we've relocated the audio delay control. The delay button can now be found in the top right corner of each audio channel. Clicking this icon allows you to adjust the audio delay for each individual channel. In upcoming updates, 
The audio delay settings will support both positive and negative values, providing more precise control over synchronization adjustments. Additionally, there is a slight transmission delay between the Yolobox Ultra's mixer and microphone inputs compared to the HDMI input. This often results in the audio from the camera being out of sync with the audio from the microphone or mixer. In such cases, adjusting the audio delay is necessary to achieve proper synchronization. That wraps up the audio mixer updates in Yolobox Ultra's 2.6.0 version. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLO Live, you can contact us via email at contact at yololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86-133-58-13532. If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86-133-058-1332. I'll see you in the next video.